Well, I guess I feel okay talking about my eviction, my daughters and my eviction. I I have to take medicine um, for my brain chemicals, and we just didn't have it right. I, I kept trying new medicines, and it was just, it was a struggle trying to find the right chemicals. Um, so anyway, that being said, I was on medicine, but I just couldn't work like a regular job, and I get a disability check. Um, some people said I was just lazy. That wasn't the truth. Um, people want to pass the buck when it comes to it because they don't want to accept the responsibility for themselves and their choices. I get that. Um, as an adult, I, I want to do that too, but I just can't because <laughs> my partner was a federal attorney and a judge, you know, and he knew accepting responsibilities. Imperative. So, um... I lucked out and I found this apartment in Jackson Ward with the Jackson Ward Association and it was subsidized housing in Jackson Ward which is not too bad of a neighborhood um, but they had two bedrooms and my daughter wanted to live with me and she's an adult she's 18 so we went there we got a two bedroom and it went on your salary you know a third of your salary so um, it was tough to pay the heating. The heating was not included, and it was very expensive. But what happened was um, my, uh, my sister, because she's jealous of me. It's crazy, but I, I have no interest in her. I like her husband, but it's not, you know, it's not my calling to be breaking up any kind of marriage. Um, I'm an artist. I have lots of friends. No interest in hurting my sister or her family. But anyway, I didn't get invited to Thanksgiving. And that was the first time besides the pain and anguish of having suffered multiple hospital stays and uh, very little family or friend support, just condemnation of, oh, guess what Ellie's doing now? But very little people call me or visit me. They just, they want to condemn me because of an illness. And um, so I tore up all the carpet. I was... It was Thanksgiving Day, and I was all by myself. No kids, no family, no partner. Um, and I went to court. A few weeks later, they t t tried to take me to court to sue me for that. But the judge said, no, it's old, you know, it old carpet. And you, can't, you shouldn't have even had it in the apartment. So I won that case. And uh, my daughter moved out. She moved in with some friends, and she was working. So they never really told me why, but they evicted us. And it could have been because I was living there by myself. But, um, you see, they had no one bedroom. I would gladly have switched to a subsidized one bedroom. They didn't offer that. So because either the carpets or my daughter moved out, it's just not right to throw a disabled person out on the street. I wasn't involved in anything illegal. But now we got it, my daughter's got it on her record and my record in eviction. And they didn't even tell me why. Um, but I just want the world to know I'm a disabled lady. And basically when you go to disability housing, they have nothing. I have, I have checked, a, I'm put on a two-year waiting. What am I going to do for two years? I lucked out and because... Um, <laughs> depending on who you talk to and what kind of gossip they want to spread. I'm living at a bed and breakfast. It's awesome. She cooks. We clean together. We keep the place clean. And we hang out some. And she has a car. I don't have a car. Her husband's nice. So all you pretenders out there that you think you know something, guess what? You don't.